Scott is bigger than big. He's bigger than bigger. He's bigger than the biggest. Scott is so much bigger. How big is Scott? Ow! Hey! I'll be right back. How big is God? Well, God is so big that he made snow. Snow is amazing. There's so many wonderful things that you can do with snow, like going skiing or sledding. Hey, you can make a snow angel or you can build a snowman. How about building a snow fort and having a snowball fight? Or make snow cream. Oh, snow cream is so yummy. It tastes like ice cream. Or only, don't ever use yellow snow. Oh, every time it snows, trillions and trillions of snowflakes fall down from the sky. There's so many of them, there's no way that we could ever count them. It's like trying to count the sand. God created snow way up in the clouds. Whoa! That was fun. Snow is made up of millions and millions of water molecules. An oxygen atom with a negative charge holds two hydrogen atoms with positive charges 104 and a half degrees apart. And when freezing hits, something amazing happens. The negative charge and the positive charges come together and there's energy, electricity. A snowflake is formed. A snowflake is a six-sided transparent snow crystal. They're beautiful to look at. There's over a hundred different varieties of snowflakes, but no two snowflakes are ever the same. Whoa, isn't that amazing? And if you hold up a penny next to the average snowflake, you'll see how very small a snowflake is. In the book of Job in the Bible, God is talking to Job and he says, have you entered the treasury of snow? Now we know this, a treasury is where you store up precious things. Things that are valuable, like jewels. And no one knew at that time that snowflakes were beautiful snow crystals, like jewels, beautiful to look at. Not until the invention of a microscope. Now we can see how beautiful these transparent treasures are, but no two are alike. Now look at man-made snow under the microscope. Ew, yucky. There's nothing pretty about man-made snow. But God's snow, it's beautiful. God uses snowflakes to teach us how valuable we are to God. Just as a snowflake is beautiful, it's precious, it's a jewel. No two snowflakes are ever alike. You are precious. No two of us are ever alike. We're God's jewel. We're precious to Him, valuable to Him. And God uses snow to teach us how big His love is for us. The Bible says that God loved us so much that He gave His Son, Jesus. Jesus died on the cross in our place for our sins. Sin's what separates us from God. Sin makes us dark and dirty on the inside. It's disobedience to God. But the Bible says this in the book of Isaiah, though our sins be as scarlet, that means dark and dirty, ugly on the inside. We can be white as snow, clean, clear. How can we be white as snow? Jesus, Jesus will make us white as snow. Pray with me. Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. Forgive me, Lord. I know you're God's son and that you died in my place. I turn away from my sins and I give my heart to you. Amen. Now you're white as snow. Go tell someone that Jesus is living in your heart now. Oh, God loves you so much. Hey, how did he get there? Uh-oh. Oh, hey, hey. God's love for you is bigger than big. It's bigger than bigger. It's bigger than the biggest. Is his love for you.